Good evening one and all, GLL back for another video. Okay, this video is going to be about our good old fanboy friend, Chief Chinook. So to set the tone for this video, let's first look at what he was saying back in March 2015 about Halo MCC and why he's an overly positive 343 fucking dick rider. Hello everyone, Chief Canuck here, this time to tell you that the long-awaited content update for Halo the Master Chief Collection is now live! Yes, it's here! I'm not lying, it's here! You'll be so why would you be excited for that? Okay, game was released months before, and this update didn't even completely fix the game. So, why is he getting excited? The game was dead on arrival, and this didn't fucking fix it. Prompted to download it next time you play the game. It's around 690 megabytes in size, actually that's exactly what it is, and focuses on matchmaking, party stability, and title specific improvements. Essentially this card- Reading from this card, reading from what 343 said, not putting his own fucking thing on it, just reading it out off a card what they've said. Content update is targeting the core systems and how multiplayer functions. And an overwhelming majority of the responses have been positive. The content update is receiving some high praises online throughout the community. So if you haven't had much luck- Isn't that what 343 fanboys were doing? Isn't that what they were doing before? Weren't they damage controlling it saying it was fixed at Christmas? And then they're going to damage control it again and say it's fixed in March? The truth is the game was not fixed until the May update. That's the truth of the matter. And then after the May update, there was no more updates. After the ODST May update, they stopped doing updates, okay? Apart from like little updates to playlists that don't even count. Actual in-game updates just stopped after May. This did not fix the game. The May update is the one that had the most impact in regard to matchmaking, etc. And we're going to look through some comments here and we're going to see what people are saying about this. Luck with online in the past, go and try it out now. Lots of people are experiencing around 30 second wait times to find matches and now puts you in lobbies with even players and you get to play on dedicated servers rather than the peer-to-peer -peer fallback. The con Shouldn't that have been standard at launch? Wasn't that the whole point of the MCC? And he's talking about this like it's a fantastic update. This shit should have been in the game since day one. He's not addressing that whatsoever. Content update notes are as follows. For matchmaking, they made a variety of updates to improve matchmaking performance and success rates. Blah, 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 blah. They've this is what they're saying. Blah, 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 blah. Match. They've improved campaign stability across a variety of levels. They've no, they haven't. They haven't touched the campaign. That's a total fallacy. That's a complete lie. Nothing has ever been done with the campaign mode. Absolutely nothing. They've not touched the campaign mode. That is a lie. That is a total lie. They've addressed stability issues for matchmaking and custom games. They've fixed issues around resuming Halo 2 Anniversary campaign from remastered mode and they've improved metal display consistency. And for Halo Combat Evolved, they've fixed issues regarding aim assist, which resulted in the reticle being pushed away from an enemy. They've improved shot range consistency between host and client in peer-to-peer -peer custom game, blah, blah, team blah, color blah. randomization, medals, and in-game score. Halo, the Master Chief Collection is far from complete, but this is a great step in the right direction. The content update is meant to target- Game should have been working on release. Why are you so happy about this? the core systems and improve how the collection functions. Features like ranks, other players, etc. will come once the heavy work is done. Yeah, what... features like ranks that were promised from day one are not in the game yet. They were until the May update. Hence, the May update was the one that actually was the one where you can say, that's it, they were done. They weren't doing any more. That's as much as they were going to do. And that's the one that actually fixed most of the problems in the game. The March update was just a stepping stone to the May update. It didn't fix Jack. Yet, the way you weird everything. Master Chief Collection is fixed, question mark. Okay, question mark, because you're saying, no, well, it's not fixed, but I'm going to write it as it is fixed, but then with a the question mark. Then, here, 343 Industries has released long-awaited content update for MCC, and multiplayer is working better than ever. Well, better than ever? It, it didn't work at all when it came out, so obviously it's going to be better than ever. How can it not be better than ever? It didn't work false fucking stop. Okay, this should just be multiplayer is now working, but it's still fucking broken as fuck. That's what the title of the video should be. It's like, this is not good enough. That's what the video should be about. It's nowhere near good enough. 
Fucking hell. So, let's leave it there. Let's look at some of these comments, because let's just say, oh, are you just talking bollocks? No, no, no. The comments on this video will prove what I've just said, okay? Custom games are still terrible in H2A. A lot of the maps won't load with more than eight people. H2A used to crash and burn all the fucking time. All the fucking time. It still does to an extent. It's still not fucking fixed completely. But it was terrible fucking back then. You'd load fucking like lockout and then it just completely send you back to the fucking menu. Um, that was a consistent problem that was not addressed with this update. And there it is again. Guy saying it won't do it. Okay? Five months to fix a game. Exactly. Why is this not a negative video? Why is this so overly positive? Because he's a 343 dick rider. That's fucking why. And the game isn't fixed at this point. The game's not even fixed here. This guy can't even update the fucking game. That was a lot of problems people had with updating the game because it wouldn't fucking take the update. So here's a guy that says, sold this piece of shit a long time ago. Game is still broken and ranking still not working. Bullshit collection, right? Here's Chief Chinook with the fucking damage control. Uh, there are ranks and they are functioning. The multiplayer is working better than ever. Not sure how you could say these things are actually owning the game. Because he fucking did own the game and he fucking sold it because it didn't fucking work on release. So why are you defending it? Why are you trying to spin it like it was fucking amazing when we all know it was broken as fuck? Okay, this is fucking ridiculous. This guy, it's actually worse now than before. Before I could at least find people, but now I can't find anything. So this update, for some people, made it fucking worse. Okay? These are facts. The May update was the one that did something. The March update was mixed. It wasn't good, it wasn't bad, it was just a stepping stone to the May update, okay? They didn't do shit with the March update. The March update was a failure, okay? That's the truth. But he's painting it like this rainbow, like it was fucking amazing. Doesn't make sense. Has anyone noticed any issues with a huge frame drop uh, when playing Halo 3 campaign online with three or four people? Hasn't everybody? I may be in the minority, you're not, buddy. But I tried four different times throughout the day and I wasn't able to join a single match. Waited for around five minutes each time. Different playlists. I'll try again today. So, he couldn't find a fucking game. But all this overly positive fucking stuff on this fucking video. This one here. I can't play the game now. Before the update, I was able to play. Anyone know why? Because the update made it fucking worse. For a lot of people. Unless you're in a specific zone, in a specific place, on a specific server, and then it probably made it better. But then if you're in another fucking area with another specific fucking shit, it wouldn't work. It made it worse. That's why. So anyway, that gives you the idea of what this update actually did compared with what he's saying. He's saying it's the all singing, all dancing update, matches load faster and all this. But realistically, a lot of people found it made the game fucking worse. And not only that, but... It didn't actually fix it for the people that are saying it was better. Yeah, it was loading matches faster, but the game was still crashing. There were still problems with the matchmaking. You go into a lobby, you go into a game, and then the game crashes halfway through. Shit like that. And shit like that still happens now, but it's just to a lesser extent. But So they never actually fixed the fucking game, full fucking stop, in terms of campaign, in terms of everything. Okay? But the May update was the one that actually made the fucking difference. The one that actually felt like it had fucking done something when they released ODST and the May fucking update. Everything else was just a stepping stone to get to that point. And videos like this were just propaganda, okay? And we see Chinook in the comments damage controlling for the fucking game. So what else have we got from Chinook? Okay, so I went, just thought I'd search you in my comments, see what I've got from him. So... We've got here, we've got Pondering Peanuts, who is actually my brother Crimson Crunch, if you were not aware of that. Um, Green Skull in this video is saying that he's not paid by 343. And he's basically said here, yeah, but he gets invited to Halo 5 events. He gets to talk to developers about rep packs and his weapon skin says 343 on it. Yeah. Then we got Chinook down here. 
you pay for all those editions, the consoles, you only get special items from Xbox, not 343. So he's trying to say that Xbox and 343 are not the same fucking thing. Which they are, because it's the same fucking company. Okay? So he's damage controlling for Green Skull. Saying that he's not a fucking paid shill. Okay? He's been given codes, but he's given them all away. But why is he given codes? Because he's fucking paid by free for free to promote the game shock horror so and this is just a quick one of him defending the rep pack system in the war zone obviously and this one's about btb being released weeks after launch now this actually did come true so he was actually right on this one but the information they were giving was as though it wasn't coming for any any time fucking soon but he was still trying to damage control and say it was coming, okay? When he didn't know that. And he couldn't have known that. And we had a bit of a falling out here. This is on the uh, Green Skull response video with that little picture there. You want to look it up. But we had a bit of a disagreement here over the fact he said, I said that 343 are constantly getting worse, stop damage controlling. And he took that as what? They haven't released any games since the MCC, so how are they getting worse? But I was just talking about progressively since they'd started, they were getting worse. But he took that to mean after the MCC for some fucking unknown reason. So he was just being a total dick rider, just trying to spin the words around. And then this is my favourite one. Once again on that video there. And he's saying, you really think free for free copied abilities from Advanced Warfare and Destiny? That's hilarious. Yes, similarities can be drawn, but those games have been in development for a long time. It's like, are you actually going to fucking say that the abilities from Destiny are not the exact same ones in Halo 5? And we got into an argument about that. So he's just fucking a, a complete dick rider. He just goes along with whatever 343 free says and what all the fucking fanboys say. Okay? So, now that we've established that Chichinok is a fucking dick rider for 343 free free Industries... Let's take a look at his little fucking video over here. Hello everyone, Chief Kanuck here, and as many of you are likely aware, apparently Halo 3 Anniversary is confirmed for the PC! Or that's what the people who are jumping to conclusions are saying, and that's also people that aren't paying attention to every week there's a statement that's saying, no, it's not happening. But let's get to that. From 343 Industries, who have been known to lie in the past, and from Phil Spencer, who has also been known to lie in the past. This all stems from a presentation for AMD over in South Korea for their new CPUs. Someone at the event uploaded this recording of a showcase video. In the showcase video, there were a bunch of images of different video games behind a spinning logo. The images include Battlefront, Overwatch, and a classic Halo 3 screenshot. Now personally, this is blown way out of proportion. For those unaware, AMD is also the CPU used inside Xbox One and Project Scorpio. So they could have, rather lazily and sloppily, used this common Halo screenshot to reiterate that their hardware is behind some games that work on Xbox. Or Halo 3 for the Scorpio. And just while we've got the video pause there, even if I'm wrong about this and everybody's wrong about this, which they could be, that still doesn't mean that you've got any evidence based on what 343 is saying. Because they're not going to give it away before E3, are they? They're going to say it's not coming out until after E3. So, it, it makes no difference, okay? It doesn't matter if we're wrong down the line. Because we're just predicting it based on history. You're trying to say, because 343 say it isn't coming, it isn't coming. That just doesn't wash whatsoever. Which some of those include Halo, of course. People are also saying that perhaps Halo 3 Anniversary or finally the original Halo 3 or Halo the Master Chief Collection is coming to PC. As of right now, it's safe to say no, no, and no for all three of those options. It's not safe to say anything because you can't predict anything until after E3 because they won't reveal the truth until after then. Yes, it would be cool to see Halo 3 finally on PC since Halo Combat Evolve and Halo 2 were, but I feel that window of opportunity has clearly come and gone. How can the window of opportunity ever have clearly come and gone? Um, they literally just released Gears of War Ultimate once again on the PC. They released Gears of War 4 on the PC. 
they released Halo Wars 1 on the PC and Halo Wars 2 on the PC. So why is there some kind of time limit for this shit? There's no time limit. Um, it can be released at any time on the PC in the future. Fact. And this is coming from me. I grew up playing Halo on PC before I even got an Xbox. I would love to have Halo 3 on the PC, but it's not happening. I've accepted that. From all indications, as of right now, it's not happening. Because that's what Microsoft and 343 are telling you. But do you really think they were going to do a Halo 3 anniversary? They will reveal that before E3 and give the game away. Not to mention, Halo the Master Chief Collection is still very much a sore spot. And I feel that Xbox and... That's funny, because I thought it was fixed in March and everything was fine, that you could find games and everything. 343 does not want to add any more attention directly or indirectly to that game. That is until it's completely fixed, which who knows when or if that will happen. So so this guy still lives in the bubble where the MCC is still going to be fixed, even though they've not updated it since May 2015. Is, is he living in a complete dream world? Did you hear that? Did you hear how stupid that was? And 3 for 3 does not want to add any more attention directly or indirectly to that game. That is, until it's completely fixed, which who knows when or if that will happen. Who knows when or if it will happen? We know it's not going to happen, you fucking moron! What the fuck? Come on! I also don't believe in its current state that they would make a Halo 3 anniversary add-on to the Master Chief Collection. Well, at least you're not as dumb as Luke the Notable then. This late into the game, Adding a DLC to the game that doesn't 100% work still to this day sounds like a PR nightmare. I thought it was working in March, though. It was working a lot better. You could find games in like 30 seconds. I thought that was a fact. I don't think they're going to do that. Which, if Master Chief Collection worked on day one, that'd be a great way to put Halo 3 Anniversary out there. But if Why would it? Why not just release it as a standalone game to make more money? How would, how would you make more money out of a DLC? So now you're retracting your argument and saying that if it had worked, it would have been a good idea. It still would have been a bad idea because it's a two-year-old game. You don't release DLC for a two-year-old game and expect the same return as a new release. It makes no sense. Of course, that's not the way things are right now. I'm also still not sure why people keep believing that Halo 3 Anniversary is happening. As we have heard plenty of... Because we're just going from history. We're going from the fact that Halo 1 and 2 were fucking remastered 10 years later. So why wouldn't they do it with Halo 3? It would be a stupid move not to do it. Okay, we're not going off the what 343 are saying or what Microsoft is saying because they're full of shit. Okay, they're not going to tell us until after E3. So the rest of this video is going to be about them telling us it's not coming. Which doesn't mean anything. At times, it's not. November 12, 2016, Frank O'Connor said on NeoGAF in response to a threat about a possible Halo 3 anniversary tease, this was all about the Xbox and the Halo 15th anniversary, he said, absolutely not. We continue to work on Halo Wars 2 and future endeavors. There are no Halo 3 anniversary plans at this time. So is he really going to say, yes, we're going to reveal Halo 3 anniversary at E3 2017? Is he really going to do that? No, because it would completely destroy Microsoft's reveal at E3 2017. So he's not going to do that, is he? So what, what, what difference does it make what he says? This is the mentality of 343 fanboys. They take everything that 343 says as the gospel when they're full of absolute shit. Okay, even if this turns out to be fucking true and it's not coming, that doesn't mean we can take this comment as a fact as of right now. After E3, we will know. That's all you can say. And the diminishing returns would make it a tricky proposition anyways. Now you may say... How would they possibly lose money on a game that sold 12 million copies? All they've got to do is add better fucking cutscenes, up the graphics a little bit, and add in some friggin' terminals. That's it. And they can sell it again, and people will fucking buy that shit. It's a fucking no-brainer. They can't lose money on that. So there's there's no diminishing return. That's horse shit. Come on, Chief. Frank said the exact same thing before about Halo 2 Anniversary, and it still came out. Yes? He pretty much did say that. Let's see exactly what he said. Come on. And no. You have to be very careful when reading Frank O'Connor's wording as he's very... Yeah, because he's full of shit. Very specific. 
In 2013, he said that nobody is working on any such thing in reference to Halo 2 Anniversary. And there was a leak for Halo 2 Anniversary, and everybody said it was fake, and that it wasn't happening, and then it did happen. Does anybody remember that? Because I do. The key thing from that statement is, nobody is working on, which is different from what he said about Halo 3 Anniversary, which is, no plans at this time. And There's no difference there whatsoever. No plans versus not working on it. It's, it's the same thing. What, well, because it's slightly weird, it's slightly differently, that, that means something? That doesn't mean nothing. 2013, he was technically correct at the time. Nobody was working on Halo 2 Anniversary. I don't see how that could be a possibility. Clearly they would be working on it. Clearly they would already be working on it. This is the guy that literally said in the defense of why Destiny powers are in Halo 5, that it takes a long time to develop games and whatever, and this is an updated game, guaranteed, but are you telling me that they weren't working on it in 2013? For its 2014 release, are we really trying to fucking say that they weren't working on it and we're using this nitpick of a fucking comment here to prove something when it doesn't prove anything whatsoever? It's just a different way of wording it. Halo the Master Chief Collection wouldn't even be announced for another year and six months since his statements on NeoGAF. As of November 2016, I felt that since Frank said no plans, which means nobody's even started working on it, that there wouldn't be enough time to make a Halo 3 anniversary game in time for the 10th anniversary, which is this fall, September 25th, 2017. So what if there's just a revealed trailer this year and it comes out next year? Did that thought not cross your mind? Then add the following statements in 2017 alone. On January 17th, Phil Spencer said on Twitter that there is no Halo FPS or Gears lead this year. February 17th, during the Halo Wars 2 live launch event, Phil Spencer reiterated a similar statement live during the show. I think we've got a really strong lineup this year, but we don't have Halo FPS this year, we don't have Gears this year, so it's also an interesting year for us. As a side note, that also means no Halo 6 this year either. So that's completely subjective once again. He's saying there's no lead from Halo this year. That doesn't mean there's no Halo FPS this year. This means it's not leading the pack. That's all he's saying right there. He's saying Halo and Gears are not leading the pack. Okay, He's not saying that there is no Halo FPS this year. He's not saying there isn't going to be a remaster of Halo 3. And why would a remastered game be leading the pack? Because it wouldn't be a new release. So that doesn't mean it's not coming whatsoever. Once again, you're reaching for information. And bear in mind, this is Phil Spencer, the guy that said last year before E3 that there wasn't going to be any upgrades for the Xbox One. There wasn't going to be an Xbox One S or an Xbox Scorpio or whatever. That's basically what he said. He said there wasn't going to be any upgrades. We're happy with what we've got now. That's what he said before E3 last year. So unless it's after E3, you can't really believe what they're telling you because they're not going to tell you that it's coming. They're going to spread that disinformation so when the fucking shit actually does fucking turn up it's going to be fucking amazing so when the shit actually does get shown e3 people are be like wait wait hold on a minute it's actually coming out it was all a fucking swerve and that's all they do they do this time and time again okay like oh yeah the, no there's no consoles coming this year at e3 no we're, we're happy with what we've got oh and by the way here's an xbox one s and there's the xbox scorpio coming next year wow what point out and that's how it works. That's just how it is. So that proves nothing. Now, that doesn't mean it is coming. But it certainly doesn't mean it isn't coming. And none of this proves that. Which I'm not sure why this was a thing. As for those unaware, Halo FPS titles have a three-year period between releases. Obviously, development time does overlap. But it's because Halo 5 was so half arse. They thought that Halo 6 could have been an episodic game with delayed content like Halo 5 was to an extent. That's why they were they were thought it might be released in fucking segments like the Hitman or fucking Final Fantasy because 343 are just that wank, anything is possible. But every three years is the accepted release schedule. So expect Halo 6 sometime in 2018, probably fall. However, we could get teases for Halo 6 as early as this year's E3 in June. 
Frank certainly could, and we could also get an announcement that Halo 3 Anniversary is going to be bundled with Halo 6 next year and get a trailer for that as well. It doesn't necessarily have to come out this year. So once again, you're not thinking outside the box. Connor also commented on the Halo subreddit about this AMD video with the following. It's not happening. Not sure why they use this art, but there's no Halo 3 anniversary game being made. We stated this many times. Sorry. So there you have it. There will be once again, they're not going to fucking say it is coming before E3, because that would completely destroy their E3. There will be no Halo 3 anniversary game in time for the 10th anniversary this fall. However, I feel that this doesn't mean that they'll never do it in the future. They already gave the anniversary treatment to two-thirds of Bungie's trilogy, so why not do it for the last one? It feels so what about next year? What about bundling with Halo 6 and having it as a fucking download-only title, like Halo Wars 1 with Halo Wars 2? Why wouldn't that happen? Kind of odd to leave the third one out. Frank O'Connor's statements haven't completely ruled out the possibility for another time, but it's just clearly not happening now and likely won't happen very soon either. And likely since X- You don't know that though, do you? Fox's first party titles are going to be played anywhere titles like Halo Wars 2 was, then that means no Halo 3 anniversary for either PC or Xbox this year. Now my opinions and discussion on whether or not 3 for 3 should make Halo 3 anniversary will be saved for another video, as this one's just about the news. But feel free to share your opinions and I'll likely share my own and comment on some of yours in a future video to address that discussion topic. And as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to share your thoughts in the comments down below. My name's Chief Canuck and I'll see you guys next time. My name's Chief Canuck, damage controlling 343 since 2015. Okay, so there you go guys. Let me know what you think. Feel free to subscribe. See you later.